Hello today's video we have the following content. The first class descendant of Wing Chun, Jet Li's personal bodyguard, challenged the Sanda champion and had his ribs broken. The most closely related to Chinese people's lives are various traditional martial arts, such as Tai Chi, Bajiquin, Tongbiquin, etc. Bruce Lee's appearance made a small southern boxing style famous both at home and abroad, which is Wing Chun. In 2015, a martial arts competition incident brought the well-known Wing Chun to the bottom. The protagonist of the incident was Jet Li's former personal bodyguard, Yang Changsheng, the first-class descendant of Wing Chun. The Origin of Wing Chun According to the records in The Origin of Wing Chun, the founder of Wing Chun was Wu Mei Tai. Considering her female characteristics, she needed to create a boxing style that could defeat opponents with greater strength than herself in a short time. This boxing style was originally called Wu Mei Quan. Because of the different starting points of creation, the boxing skills of Wu Mei Quan are very different from other boxing styles. Among the many disciples of Wu Mei Nun, Miao Shan was gifted and had a thorough understanding of Wu Mei Quan. He mastered it quickly, and later he improved it based on his understanding of Wu Mei Quan, taking its essence and removing its dross. Miao Shan met Yanner by chance in Guangdong. Out of respect for Yanner's cause of anti Quan and restoration of Ming, Miao Shan taught Yanner the improved and optimized Wu Mei Quan. Because Wu Mei Quan itself was created by women and is more suitable for women to practice, Yanner taught this boxing to his daughter Yan Yongchen. What Yanner didn't expect was that Yan Yongchen learned Wu Mei Quan very quickly. It didn't take long for her to master this boxing. With rapid progress, she understood Wu Mei Quan more thoroughly than her father. Liang Ba Chao was also an anti Quang person. In order to avoid the Quang dynasty's arrest, he fled to Lian Chen County and was rescued by Yanner. After Yanner's matchmaking, Yan Yongchen and Liang Ba Chao became husband and wife. Considering the chaotic situation at that time, the whole family was anti Quang and would inevitably be arrested by the Quang dynasty. In order to let her husband have a skill, Yin Wing Chun taught her husband Wu Mei Quan, and the two lived together in Nangshan County for decades. Later, Yin Wing Chun died of a serious illness, leaving Liang Ba Chao alone to open a martial arts school and recruit disciples. In order to commemorate his wife, Liang Ba Chao officially changed the name of Wu Mei Kuan to Wing Chun Quan. Since then, Wing Chun Quan has its own inheritance, from Liang Ba Chao to Wang Hua Bao, Liang Erdi, Liang Zan, Chen Huishan, etc., and has been passed down to the most famous scythe man and Bruce Lee in modern times. Wing Chun Quan which was already very mature in the Liang Ba Chao period, has been passed down from generation to generation and gradually developed and grown. Why did the Southern small boxing style flourish? Bruce Lee's love and hatred with Wing Chun. When Wing Chun developed to the end of the Quang dynasty, it was still a very small boxing style, mainly relying on the inheritance between friends. During the Liang Zan period, he abandoned the previous secret tradition and opened the Zancheng Hall to openly accept disciples. This martial art was known to the world. Unlike the headmaster system in martial arts novels, many local small boxing styles do not have a unified leader. Only those clan martial arts systems with villages as collectives or religious schools have so-called heads. According to the description of Liang Ting, the last disciple of Yi Wen, there are currently dozens of branches of Wing Chun at home and abroad. Some are martial arts halls established by Yi Wen's disciples in Hong Kong and overseas and some are factions that were rediscovered after the reform and opening up of Foshan Wing Chun. These branches have little contact with each other, and the organizational structure is extremely loose. Wing Chun became famous abroad before it became famous in China. It was first mentioned to the media by Mr. Bruce Lee, a disciple of Ite Man, that he had his martial arts origins. With the dual aura of a kung fu master and a movie star, he played the most important role in making Wing Chun famous. To be frank, if Bruce Lee had not introduced Wing Chun to everyone, this small southern boxing style would only slowly be buried in the dust of history after the last batch of people died. However, Bruce Lee did not get along so well with Wing Chun. It can be said that many Wing Chun descendants in Hong Kong were somewhat hostile to him. There was a rumor that if you wanted to learn Wing Chun, you had to step on Bruce Lee to get in. The cause of the incident started when Bruce Lee returned to Hong Kong from the United States. After returning to Hong Kong, Bruce Lee found his master Ip Man and asked him to teach him the wooden man pile technique and allow him to record it. In return, he could give Ip Man a reward of 30,000 yuan. At that time, 30,000 yuan was not a small amount of money in Hong Kong, which was equivalent to the salary of an ordinary person for about two years. At that time, this request was flatly rejected by Ip Man. 
It was not that he did not want to teach Bruce Lee the skills of wooden man pile, but Bruce Lee's overly straightforward expression was a transaction in his eyes, not a legacy between master and apprentice. I man used to be a wealthy family in Foshan, and he was not a person who was greedy for money. He felt that Bruce Lee's behavior was very disrespectful to him. This is the difference between Chinese and Western cultures. Bruce Lee has lived in the United States for a long time, and his thinking and usual style of doing things are American. The proposal to give money may be a subconscious thought without thinking, not intentional humiliation of Ip Man. As Bruce Lee lived in Hong Kong for a longer time, he slowly began to understand the ideas of Hong Kong people and repaired his relationship with Ip Man's Wing Chun descendants. However, the Jeet Kune Do invented by Bruce Lee was still criticized by many Wing Chun descendants, who believed that it was just Wing Chun after changing the skin, and there was no difference in essence. Moreover, Bruce Lee died too early and did not have a good grasp of the core inheritance of Wing Chun. Liang Ting once publicly criticized Bruce Lee for not understanding Wing Chun at all. However, no matter whether Wing Chun fans are optimistic or pessimistic about Bruce Lee, his contribution to this martial art cannot be erased. Wing Chun has developed from a small place like Hong Kong to all over the world, from dozens of people practicing to millions of learners today. These changes are all due to Bruce Lee's influence and popularity. Later, the box office of the Ip Man trilogy in China was a big hit, which made many mainlanders know Wing Chun. The famous actor Donnie Yen, who played Ip Man, became a hero in the hearts of many people. The fact that Wing Chun martial arts schools can flourish at home and abroad is inseparable from the help of the film and television industry. It is also because of the performances and promotions of Kung Fu superstars such as Bruce Lee and Donnie Yen that this martial art can achieve a worldwide influence second only to Tai Chi. Jet Li's bodyguard Wing Chun's direct descendant was beaten violently. With the release and popularity of the first two Ip Man movies, many Chinese people began to truly understand this martial art, and the names of inch punches, close combat, wooden man stakes, etc. are familiar to everyone. But in 2015, the spread of Wing Chun came to an abrupt end, and many people realized that Kung Fu could only exist in movie special effects. At that time, Tianjin Satellite TV had a celebrity charity reality show called Good Luck from Heaven. It is unknown how much the producer spent. In short, this program organized an informal martial arts competition and invited the famous Wing Chun boxer Yang Chang Hang and the young Sada player CAO Yag Wong to compete. Yang Chang Hang is from Hubei. He started to practice martial arts and learn traditional martial arts at the age of eight. His wooden man pull technique is very powerful. He used to be Jet Li's personal bodyguard, responsible for protecting his safety. Later, for some reason, he was willing to return to China and served as the Deputy Secretary General of the Wushu Association in Hainan Province. He usually opened a martial arts school to teach apprentices. It stands to reason that even if this person's traditional martial arts is relatively ordinary, he should be able to fight back and forth on the field, but the result is obviously not the case. His opponent is also not an ordinary person. He once won the honor of the 60-kilogram World Sandic Champion in the Youth Wushu Championship. Through the introduction of the host to the competition, the audience learned that this was the first time that Wing Chun officially competed with Santa. Before this, Wing Chun had only been performed in actual combat in front of the public by Bruce Lee, but this was the first time to officially compete in a ring match. Before the competition began, the host asked Yang Chang Hang what his goal was for practicing martial arts for so many years. He answered sincerely to the camera that it was to promote Chinese martial arts and let more people understand traditional martial arts. He was born for martial arts and was willing to die for martial arts. Amid the cheers of the audience, the competition officially began. In the first round, both sides were very cautious and tested each other. The young player CAO Yag Wong seemed to be influenced by the reputation of Win Chun movies and Bruce Lee and did not dare to attack directly. And Yang Cheng Hang also kept a defensive position and tried to attack several times but failed. The end of the first round sounded in the mutual testing, and both sides entered the rest time. At this time, the son who had always opposed his father Yang Cheng Hang's martial arts practice also came to the scene. He personally put on braces for his father and cheered for Yang Cheng Hang. The audience and the stars watching the fight cheered for Yang Cheng Hang hoping that he could replicate the majestic scenes in the movie and make Chinese traditional martial arts famous. The accident happened in the second round. CAO Yag Wang found that Yang Cheng Hang's attack ability was very weak, and there were various loopholes in his defensive posture. After the first round of testing, he knew that these were not baits, but real. CAO Yag Wang punched decisively, 
and a right hook hit Yang Chengsang's body. The opponent was unable to dodge and took a heavy punch, stumbling back several steps. Under the suppression of several heavy punches, Yang Chengsang was at a disadvantage and had no power to fight back. At this time, CAO Yang Wang's killer move came. He flew up and kicked with a whip kick, and his left leg kicked Yang Chengsang's right ribs heavily. Yang Chengsang was seriously injured and lay on the ground wailing. At this time, the referee came out to stop the contestant and the medical staff entered the field. Yang Chengsang was in so much pain that he vomited his braces. Although he stood up tenaciously to indicate that he could continue, the doctor on the scene thought that his ribs were probably broken and the game should not continue. Although Yang Chengsang performed very tenaciously, throughout the game, Yang Chengsang's rhythm was completely controlled by the opponent, his defensive movements were very clumsy, his punches and kicks were not lethal at all, and he had not trained special resistance to blows like Sanda, so he was distracted by the pain when he was hit. From him, we can see that traditional martial arts schools have deviated from the original intention of the founding period, which is to combine with actual combat. No martial arts boxing method appears out of thin air, and its appearance is often summarized by a hero based on his own combat experience. However, the original practical fighting methods have almost disappeared, and instead, some routines and skills have been imagined out of thin air. Compared with the systematic and scientific training of Sanda athletes, they seem decadent and backward. When this match spread on the internet and caused heated discussions, many people in the traditional martial arts community couldn't wait to come out and make various explanations. They attributed the reasons for the failure to various restrictions on the ring, such as Yang Chang's hang wearing gloves that affected the performance of short-handed skills. Including Yang Chang Hang, he has repeatedly spoken out to try to save some face for Wing Chun, but no one is willing to go to the ring to rectify the name of traditional martial arts and no one has tried to combine traditional martial arts with modern scientific techniques to improve them into practical skills. Where is the future of traditional Chinese martial arts? No matter how people in the traditional martial arts community use their mouths to quibble, CAO Yag Wang's kick broke the fig leaf of traditional Chinese martial arts. In 2020, a ring match between Ma Bei O Gu and fighting coach Wang Kingman made traditional Chinese martial arts lose to the end. What should the future path of traditional Chinese martial arts be? It has become a mystery in the hearts of many people. More and more Chinese people give up learning traditional martial arts and turn to fighting such as Sanda, Jeet Kune Do, Boxing, Taekwondo, and Muay Thai. Traditional martial arts have become a formalized and performative dance, and the routine fighting methods make them look pleasing to the eye but are actually vulnerable. The world is moving forward, China is moving forward, and traditional culture should also move forward with the pace of the times, and not stay in the past concepts. Although Sandu has broken many false faces of traditional martial arts, in fact, the origin of this fighting technique is China. In the early days, its name was Sanchao, Shabo, and Jiji. Its origin is the ancient Chinese unarmed fighting technique. Since the Republic of China, this technique has returned to actual combat under the leadership of enlightened people, and it has been included in the key items of national martial arts assessment. Today Sandu has been aligned with other international fighting sports, Forming a sport that takes into account both actual combat and viewing, and has a clear level upgrade. The Chinese Wushu Sanda Association has disassembled the learning process of Sanda from easy to difficult, suitable for people of different ages to join the study, making the sport more popular. If traditional martial arts want to regain their original momentum, learning from Sanda is an inevitable process. The Chinese martial arts community needs to launch a revolution on itself, strip off the false routines drive away the parasites that suck blood from traditional martial arts, and let martial arts return to its pure side. Only by truly picking up the fighting style and returning to the original situation of being able to fight and win, can traditional martial arts rise again. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 